time to start the galaxy season and I was able to capture three nights of it. So let's take a look about the settings that I use and also the results. Uh, and I'm not doing too many advanced settings, but the basic ones. And one of the most important ones that I really love about the Seastar, it's the uh, sensors that it has uh, for the tripod. It's under two degrees is good. For these galaxies, I try different settings uh, that on 20 seconds. I am seeing the, um, it's having trouble, some trouble with the uh, uh, star trails on the stack images. Now I am also saving all of the frames. Some difficulty stacking is right now has three minutes and 30 seconds um, stacking, but in reality, the imaging session started more like 15 minutes ago. And we also have some great news on the upcoming equatorial mode. Um, and I believe they're even going to 60 seconds. So we'll see. <laughs> Galaxies are always a little bit challenging, especially when the moon is out. So we'll see. So the new imaging session started and we have uh, two images, so 40 seconds. I hope the star trails are less now. As I lower 10 seconds, that's a lot. <laughs> so I am increasing a little bit the uh, brightness so I can see better here. But definitely the stars are starting to look better, more rounded. Uh, remember, we don't have, a, it's not an equatorial mode, doesn't do equatorial mode, but it's going to do it very soon, maybe in a couple of weeks or so. I can't wait for that. This one, as I mentioned, the moon is right there. I mean, it's it's more towards the south, but um, this one, uh, the moon is not that far, 36% illuminated. So we'll give it a time and we'll do another follow-up on the star trails. But um, here we can see, let's see, let's take a look because I have the tablet right here. Now I want to take a look at all of the frames that they are over 400 for the uh, M33 uh, Galaxy. That's the one that I did in multiple nights, so I need to combine all of them. I'm not going to show all the process. Uh, it's just a few uh, important steps. If you want to know about more of my editing process, just please join my membership program. And in this program, I provide lots of tutorials with uh, PDF documents of all the steps for PixInsight and soon for Cyril and SETI Astro Suite, especially those cheat sheets. <laughs> Let me take here a look first, because this is very important as part of this uh, testing, what's in the image. Um, and uh, the first thing, it's that uh, a bit 16 bit. This is good. It's been in one by one. This is a 10, 9, 19, 20 by 10, 80. Pusher time was uh, 30 seconds. Filter, IR cutter, Bayer pattern, gain 80. Well, that's very good. That's kind of like what I like. And total exposure time in seconds, it was uh, 300. And then it has been a uh, plate sold. These are all the frames on the uh, raw format and lots of them. Uh, and these are the ones at 30 seconds and 10 seconds exposure time. So I got one hour and 20 minutes on 30 seconds exposure time and 11 minutes at 10 seconds. No bias, dark or flat frames. All the frames calibrated. So it seems like the the one on the right, the stack from Seastar, it has uh, dark frames. The one on the left, which is the one that I did with raw frames on the fits format it seems like it doesn't have that's probably the difference and that's why when i edit the one on the right always looks better with the one that i'm doing everything so if that's the case then good job i'm going to uh, use the stack image on the fits format okay blur exterminator work great statistical stretch
need to darken a little bit the background. So I'm not too happy with this. I think I am going to start this process again, and this is good that it happens because I believe what happened here was when I stretched the image that it was not right. Okay, let's just go ahead and start. Without separating the stars, all that red part here, it's gone. That's why it's so important to know some of the basic features and a little bit of knowledge on what can I do differently because Every image data is going to be a little bit different. Remove that mask and I am going to save this one. 